The people are asking, how could it be that just by saying this holy name, na na, nachma, nachman, meuman, that this puts us in good favor in the eyes of God. Just by saying Nanach, <laughs> how could it be? So I saw in the holy books a parable that there was once a king who had a friend, a beloved friend, who was a very beautiful singer and he would delight the king with beautiful melodies and uh, performances now this fellow was caught stealing and they wanted to punish him and the king said no <laughs> let him go <laughs> I need him to sing for me he's my friend <laughs> they, they caught him <laughs> killing even and the king just couldn't do without this fellow he enjoyed and appreciated his singing so much it's a terrible thing that, that this fellow killed, took away lives from the world, precious lives. But the king felt that if he didn't have this entertainment from this fellow to help him, then many more lives would be lost. And Whatever they caught this fellow doing, the king was inclined to let the fellow off because he valued very much the singing of this friend of his. <laughs> so you guessed it already, huh? <laughs> the Holy Blessed One has a top hit song, <laughs> a top hit tzaddik, Rabbi Nachman. <laughs> and he values very much our mentioning this holy name and our singing this holy name, Nanach, <laughs> Nachman, <laughs> Nachman, <laughs> Meuman. <laughs> And uh, God forbid, whatever we do, we are accountable for. And uh, like the Saba said, there are all types of ways of rectifications and paths to the rectification. And uh, we have no allowance, and license, or any way to do wrong things. God forbid, everything is accountable for. But when we say this holy name, Nanach, uh, <laughs> We're in good favor in the eyes of the king, and things will work themselves out for the good. And that's what happened in this parable. This poor fellow, <laughs> one time, due to his sins, he fell and struck out his tongue. <laughs> and he was no longer able to sing. And when the king heard about this, he said, Now punish him for all his evil doings. <laughs> so it is very important to remember that we must be very strong in saying, Nanach, Nachma, Nachma Miuman, to the end. <laughs> And then we'll be home free with Rabbi Nachman. Nanach. Nachma. Nachman. Meuman.